All right, in this video, I'm going to derive the least squares estimators for the multiple linear regression model. So just as a reminder, remember what our model is, we have y equals x times beta plus epsilon, right? Where y is an n by one vector, x is an n by p vector, beta is a p by one vector, and epsilon is n by one, okay? So p is the number of parameters, all right? And n is our sample size, okay? Okay, so what we wanna figure out is what is our estimator for beta? Okay, and so I'm going to use this notation B to represent my estimator for beta. And y hat equals x times B, right? So y hat is our predicted value for this model. Okay, and it uses this estimator B. Okay, so the residuals are E equals y minus y hat. Okay, these are the residuals, model residuals. And the goal for least squares estimators is to minimize the square of these residuals. That's what we want to do. We want to minimize the difference between the observed and then our predicted using this, uh, this, this estimator B. Okay, so we want to minimize the sum from I equals 1 to N of e sub i squared. We want to minimize the sum of the squared residuals. Okay. This is the same thing as we want to minimize e transpose e. E, e transpose times e. Right? Why is that? Well, because this is, remember, e is a n by 1 vector. Okay? because y is also n by one, and y hat is also n by one, okay? So the transpose would be one by n times n by one. That's basically, that is what this is. This is the sum of the squared residuals, okay? So this equals, this is the same thing as saying I wanna minimize y minus y hat transpose times y minus y hat, okay? Well, what is y hat? y hat is x times beta or x times b, sorry. So x times b transpose y minus x times b, okay? So I wanna minimize this uh, and figure out what b is. So I'll take the derivative with regards to b and set it equal to zero, all right? So that's what I wanna do. I wanna take the derivative with regards to b of y minus x b transpose times y minus x b and set this equal to zero, okay? So let's go ahead and do this. First thing, let's go ahead and bring this transpose in. So I get y transpose minus, now when you take the transpose of a product, you have to reverse the order of the product. So this becomes b transpose x transpose, okay? All right, now go ahead and, well, like kind of like foil, right? So first, so I still have my, I haven't taken the derivative yet. So I'll have y transpose y, okay, that's the first. Then this guy times the back guy is y transpose x b, okay. Then this guy times this guy will be minus b transpose x transpose y. And then the back guys multiplied by each other. They're both negative, so it makes a positive. b transpose x transpose x times b, right, and then I'm gonna need to take the derivative and set equals zero. So notice that this term here and this term here are exactly the same. So they can be combined because they're like terms, okay? So this is y transpose y minus two times b transpose x transpose y plus b transpose x transpose x times b. Okay, now I'm ready to go ahead and take the derivative. Now, partial derivative of y transpose y with regards to b, it's nothing, it's zero, it goes away. Partial derivative with regards to b of 
2 B transpose X transpose Y. Basically the B transpose will get dropped and you'll be left with negative 2 X transpose Y. Okay, then the derivative of this back term with regards to B, basically you see two Bs, think of it like B squared. So the first one of the Bs will basically get dropped and you left to be two, you drop this squared, right? X uh, transpose XB equals zero. Okay, so now I need to solve for B. Okay, so go ahead and subtract or add two X transpose Y to both sides. All right, two X transpose Y. Divide both sides by two to get rid of the two. I'll have X transpose X times B equals X transpose Y, okay? So now, to get B by itself, I can't just divide both sides by X transpose X, right? Because that's a matrix, I can't do that. But instead, I can multiply both sides by X transpose X inverse. X transpose X inverse okay now these guys will cancel and i'll have left with b on my left hand side i'll have b equals x transpose x inverse x transpose y okay and that is my least squares estimator okay and it's relatively easy to show that this least squares estimator is unbiased so i'm going to go ahead and do that in the next video